I got to tell you guys, <clears throat> one thing I hate more than anything, and I don't really know why, is painting. I don't know if I just feel like it's a waste of time. Uh, I think mostly it's just because I'm more of a, you know, rough carpenter. I just want to see it get done. I want to see some progress. And to me, painting is just like, you're not really getting a whole lot more done. It looks nice, but you're not getting a whole lot more done. So anyway, I'm always trying to find ways to paint faster. So here's what I'm going to try tonight. <clears throat> I've got six 10 frame mediums, three bottom board or three top covers, I'm sorry, outer covers, uh, six bottom boards and one medium nuke box up there, five frame nuke. And uh, I got them all stacked up real nice and square. And I'm going to fire up my paint sprayer and see if I can't just work my way around this column and just spray all four sides real quick. The beauty of the box is, is that you don't have to spray and actually paint the actual edges where they're stacked on each other. So this should work just about perfect. Uh, the only thing that might not work is on the bottom boards. Uh, I have to paint the extra two inches or so that sticks out beyond the front of the box to make sure it's weatherproofed. But anyway, uh, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to get my paint and stuff hooked up here. And, and using uh, a spray well, gun, you have to thin your paint. And you guys that have used a spray gun before know that. Um, <clears throat> what I use on my beehives is a superior grade, exterior grade. This has got a 15-year warranty, and it is a latex paint, not oil base. Um, now, to use that, usually with oil base, you would thin with mineral spirits. Latex paint, I bought this stuff called Floetrol, um, and you can see right there on the tag it says add to latex paint, and the directions for this stuff is up to one quart per gallon. Now what I'm mixing in here is a quart pickle jar, so I suppose a quarter of a quart would be a cup, but we're just going to kind of wing it. I'll just dump some in, screw the lid on and uh, mix it up. Also a note on my paint. You'll see the price written on the top of that jar there. It's $10. And somewhere around here I've got another can that I picked up for $10. Um, always, always check your hardware department at Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. And check the rack for their uh, oops paints. The ones that get the wrong color or the customer's just not happy. So far I've managed to pick up. I bought this first jug because I was silly. And I paid something like $30 for a 15 year exterior grade and then I checked the rack later on and this stuff here is actually um, says it has a lifetime warranty on it for what it's worth um, but you can see it's also exterior latex uh, anyway I'll dump some of this flow troll in here shake this puppy up till I feel like it looks good and watery and then I've got my paint gun there in my case I'll get All right, I got my paint mixed up here it's uh, looking pretty watery uh, I think it should work Unfortunately, I won't really know how good it's going to react through my paint gun until I try it. But we'll pull out. I'm going to use my smaller gun here. It's a gravity feed. It's not a, it's not a cup painter, so it's got a little port on the side there. And we'll hook in with this little one cup, I believe it is. Yeah, one cup spray can. That should be enough to do it. Um, and uh, we'll get it rigged up here and maybe I'll even get well, some... Well, that's one coat of paint on it. I gotta say, that worked out pretty doggone good. Um, you can see it's, you know, kind of patchy there, but that's to be figured with the first coat, especially on wood. And with me having to get my paint gun dialed in, I use the thing about once a year, so I always forget how to use it in between times. Um, I got in trouble. My wife came out and caught me, and I had the garage door closed and the vent not on and everything else going, so that was pretty silly on my part. Uh, but I didn't even notice. I mean, looking around the garage now, there's like a fog in the air. But I know she claims my blood. She claims my eyes are bloodshot, but I haven't looked in the mirror to tell. Um, but I don't got a headache or anything. Anyway, just want to show it to you. Uh, I couldn't capture any footage while I was actually painting because my air compressor is undersized for this paint gun, and so pretty much as soon as I start painting, it kicks on and it runs the whole time, which isn't good for it. But it gets the job done. So, anyway, uh, this worked great. I'll slap on another coat tomorrow and uh, be done. That beats the tar out of using a paintbrush and laying them all out on their 
edges and painting two coats on one side and then rolling them over and two coats on the other side and having to have them all scattered out in the driveway. This is this works really well and I gotta say it kinda makes sense and I'm a little ashamed it took me this long to think of it. But if y'all are into painting a lot of boxes, by golly it works. I uh you know I had offered my wife a long time ago, told her I needed help with some of this beekeeping stuff and I told her I'd give her I don't know, a dollar or two dollars a box to paint them for me, something like that, because she enjoys painting. She said, no, I'm not going to do that for you. Then she comes out here and she sees me doing this and goes, what'd you offer me? Was it uh, $10 a box to paint them? So she tries to be manipulative, but I told her no. I said the offer's off the table. Now that I've figured out how to do it quick and smart, I'm not going to hire it out. So she'll just have to watch me and... Uh, kick herself for missing out on such a golden opportunity to get a little bit more money for her her hobbies so anyway that's it for now i'm gonna finish getting my paint gun cleaned up i'll slap a second coat on it tomorrow and uh yeah i think it's gonna work well give it a shot